My bestie has two inactive sea monkey tanks, so let's restart them for her. The best way to clean out an old tank is just to rinse it using boiling water. Just make sure you don't use any soap as this can poison your sea monkeys. The next step is to fill your tanks to the water line with room temperature distilled water. Then it's time to add packet number one, the water purifier, which should look like a dry white powder. Unfortunately, my second water purifier packet had some moisture damage, so I'm not really sure if it's going to work or not. But once you've added packet number one, give it a stir and set a timer for 24 hours because that's how long you need to wait before adding the sea monkey eggs. See you tomorrow. It's been 24 hours since we added the Sea Monkey's water purifier and both tanks are full of bubbles and looking great, which means it's now time to add packet number two, the Sea Monkey eggs, which should look dry like this. After you pour the eggs in, you'll notice blue and orange things in the tank, which is totally normal, so just give it a stir to help it dissolve. Sea Monkeys don't all hatch at the same time and can take between 24 hours to over six weeks to hatch. So just be patient, keep them away from direct sunlight and don't feed them just yet as you'll need to wait seven days. If you feed them earlier, they will suffocate. It's been 24 hours since we added the sea monkey eggs and we have had heaps of sea monkeys hatch. The eggs will continue to hatch over the next six weeks, so it's super important to keep their water temperature consistent by keeping them away from any direct sunlight, such as windows. I'm gonna tell you a little secret about how to get your sea monkeys to hatch. Sea monkeys need light and a consistent water temperature to survive, but never put your sea monkeys on a windowsill. This causes their water temperature to rise during the day and drop at night. And trust me, this dramatic change in water temperature will cause your sea monkeys to die. Instead, try to find a part of your house where there is natural light, but it's away from any direct sources such as windows. An update on my sea monkey babies, they're growing and they're super, super happy. Update on the sea monkeys, it's been four days since we added the sea monkey eggs and I can't believe how many of them there are and how much they've grown. A lot of you have asked where you can get sea monkeys from and because I know you guys are from all around the world, to make it easier, I've put a link in my bio to their official stores. This is the last restarting sea monkeys update because I'm now back in New Zealand and the tanks that I restarted are with my friend in Australia. But it's all good because it means that I'm back with my tanks. This tank I've had going since July 2020 and this tank I've had going since August 2020.